What started out as a simple sod laying job has now become a rescue mission. Ditching this piece of shit and heading up the hill. I gotta make this look good. That's what I'm gonna do. So while this is moving along, Pretty quickly, there are some serious problems with this turf that are going to require a phone call. This is really super freaking disappointing. Uh, one star right now, one star. I have found more dandelions in this grass than I had in the entire five years of my own grass. So, um, not good. How are you doing down there, Travass? Yeah, just cutting shit in. <laughs> cutting shit in. You know, it's a lot harder than it looks. Yeah? Would you like to talk about your skill sets? I know how to cut carpet. Yeah, you do. Sick. Green carpet. A lot of rocks in here. It's all in your blade, huh? Yep. That's what she said. versus reality. Oh, that is terrible. I'm gonna use more weed control on this right out of the gate than I did in five years on my other lawn. Horseshit. All right, everybody. I really hope that by the time this video is out, you have watched the other one where I am maintaining professionalism and I am instructing and I'm doing everything the way that one would hope when uh, a video is being made. This video is not gonna be like that. This one is where I'm gonna be angry, pissed off. Are you sharing with what's going on down here? I'm not very happy about it. I am going to work my ass off to make this place look amazing. But right now, If you haven't gathered already, sun's going down. Check it out, it's a beautiful sunset. Look at that, oh, it's fire in the sky. Man, that is nice, look at that. We're gonna be laying turf in the dark here in a second with that sunset. It's gonna be really fun. But the other pallets have just arrived. They were just delivered. Look at this, look at this shit. See that? My flatbed decided to take a crap on the way up the canyon. Not exactly sure what it is right now. I have a feeling it's just a Ford, but uh, for sure, I think it's fuel filters or something like that. But I was most concerned about the turf. That was really my biggest freak out, is that it was gonna die and I was just gonna waste all this time and money. So, here it is. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful view for a truck that's not working. We're gonna get that unloaded. We're gonna get it put down before it gets too dark. So, if you die.
right, so the turf's in. That's not a good sign, buzzard. That's already, it's a bad thing. So I've taken it through a couple of uh, watering cycles already. I've already had to replace um, one solenoid that was bad, so that's great. At least that's fixed. Sprinkler system's working really well. It's running behind me right now. But I just wanna point out some things through this because it was such a pain in the ass. So I, I just wanna hit the high points on it. Um, the truck. So I went down with the trailer, uh, loaded up roughly five pallets, put it on, everything fine. Suddenly the truck went into limp mode and okay, that's fine. It's showing some code of a reflash that needs to be done. Typical gremlin problem, it sucks. So that was one thing. All right, so part way up the canyon in order to reset that, I turned it off and it decided it would not turn back on again. So it got stuck. So what did I have to do? Call my buddies, they come down, bring the other truck, we hook up the trailer, bring the trailer up here, call a tow truck to pick up the flatbed with the turf on it to bring it up here so that we can get it all in. So we started actually laying the turf sometime around like, oh, 6.30 is when this started. There were four adults working on this and we got the first pallet laid and mostly cut in uh, within 15 or 20 minutes. Second one done in another 20 or 30 minutes. Then we kind of had to wait around for the tow truck to bring the rest of the turf. And my biggest concern was it was sitting down in the canyon, 95 degrees, totally dry, and we we're gonna have greater problems. Well, it made it. Uh, we ended up finishing everything up around like nine o'clock last night, kind of set everything into the sunset. And then this morning just went through and did the final cuts and pieces to get everything sort of pulled a little bit tighter and put together. That's just the first part. So the second part, if you hadn't noticed, this turf is full of weeds. Not only is it full of weeds, there were some that were so built up with thatch. There were some that were so built up with just cut and matted grass. Some that had like lines through them that don't really make any sense. Tons of weeds. There's a bunch of annual ryegrass that I've seen through here. Uh, it's all sorts of different cut heights. There's some that look practically dead compared to others. That's fine, it's stuff that can be overcome, but it is probably the most inconsistent turf I have seen come off of pallets in a long time. So that kind of sucks. Now, it is in, it will establish quickly. I put down green pop on the soil beforehand. I put down polymers on the soil beforehand uh, and raked all of that stuff down inside um, and then put topsoil over the top of that. So it's got a lot to help it through this drought, which is gonna be good. I'm spraying it with RGS today as soon as this water cycle ends and I'll get that out to just help getting the roots down further. I would say that the roots will be tacked within just a couple of days. It usually happens pretty fast when you take some of those, um, you know, just adding some little extra benefits to the ground. So it's gonna be okay. Right now I'm not super happy. It's okay, it's fine, it's gonna be fine. Uh, it's going to be fun to watch this place transform, take it through my normal processes, and make sure that everything is just going to come out golden. Um, I am actually going to seed through some additional rye on this, put some RPR through here, and just sort of start to rebalance um, the dominant bluegrass in here, because this is an 80-20 mix. So I'm going to bring that up a little bit more. And I'm going to do that here while the turf is establishing as well, and do a light overdose or do a light overseed of like two pounds per thousand and just kind of start getting it threaded in to change around some of this. So in the next week or two, I'll be fertilizing it, mowing it and uh, treating the weeds. Just kind of a little bit disappointed. So it's all right, it's in. The contours and the space look fantastic. It's, it's really beautiful. All the landscaping is coming together. I'll be able to turn my attention down onto the golf green here coming up. But I think the final result, even though it is just a little bit of a quilt right now, it's pretty great. So, that's it. Hope you had fun with this one. I guess we'll see what comes next. I'll talk to you guys real soon.